Yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go back into Peanut Park and do some more shines in it. I just don't feel like doing the blue coins or gold coins just yet. So I'm going to clear all Peanut Park of shines before I go back to Bianco Hills and 100% it. So let's start with episode 5, the runaway Ferris wheel. Here we go! You'll notice that the Ferris wheel from the outside looks normal. I don't understand this, just watch this. It looks normal, it's fine, it's just going in a certain circle, it's nice and slow. But for some reason, when you go inside, it starts going crazy. Watch! Look at that thing go! I really hope there's no people inside of that, otherwise they're going to be really sick to their stomachs. Anyway, that thing is the cause of the Ferris wheel going like crazy. Or maybe it's actually Mario. I don't know. I mean, if you wouldn't have entered the park, that Ferris wheel wouldn't have started spinning. But anyway, there's two routes that you can take to get there. You can either go all the way over through behind and do this obstacle course, which I really don't recommend that you do because it's really annoying. Uh, if you go right over here, there's an obstacle course. This thing looks really cool, though, but if you want to try it for a challenge, you can do so yourself. There's these flip panels when you spray them, they flip over so you can walk on them, and that's when you basically have to climb all the way up to the top there. However, there is, I don't know if this is a glitch, or, or if it's how the designers intended it, because it seems it seems to work so consistently, that's why I'm not sure if it's a glitch or if it's how the designer, designers intended it, but you go over here and way on top of that, that scaffolding that we went to the blue coin mission on, you know, the highest point of that scaffolding, and now there's a bridge over here, by the way, if you didn't know, know that, so that makes it extra easy to go up there. That's also why I think that uh, it may have been intended for you to take this route as well, because you can just simply walk up here with no trouble whatsoever with the hover, hover nozzle. Now, here's a trick. If you go and try to jump over there to the left side, oh, there's a sleeping critter that's making the ferris wheel go crazy. If you Anyway, if you jump through the left side, it won't work. You'll get repelled. But if you go along the right side, you'll go right through it. But so, spin, well, spin or flip and hover yourself across there. And look at that, I just went right through it. No problem whatsoever. And then you'll see that there is the uh, critter there. Just to, no, 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 I don't want to fall down there. Well, I guess this works. And I'll just spring myself up to here and flip them off. Woo! There we go. <laughs> I hit the wrong button again. That's why I fell. The controls are reversed between the A and B button depending on whether you're hanging off to the side or, you know, hanging on to the side of it or hanging underneath it. And the shine appears way, way on top of that highest platform in the park. Um, the easiest way to get up there is just to jump on top of one of those um, carriages, whatever you want to call it, and stay... Oh, poopers! Didn't mean to fall there. Get on top of one and just ride it up to the top and hover to that platform, basically. Alright, let's try and get onto... <sighs> Curse's camera. Let's try and get onto one of those things from over here. I should just be able to flip over like that and get up to one. Yeah, that will work. Let's try that again. Try to shoot. Oh, I was off time there. Let's just wait for wait for the right moment, PK Gam. Flip. Wall kick. Thank you, camera! Can I get on this one? Oh, that works. No, what the? Why did I fall over that? Dang it. This is not that hard. It's platforming 101. That, I, I, I'm actually sliding off that, and I'm not supposed to do that. I should say, I'm not. that's not supposed to happen. Hmm. Okay, let's just get on. <sighs> Try that again. And there we go. Finally. Why was I sliding off these things? That was so weird. And you just keep riding this until you get to the top and hover onto that platform. These will definitely get high enough to get up to the platform. So just, there you go. There's your shine. Woohoo! <laughs> and oh, I forgot about something. There's a little event that occurs here after you get so and so many shines. How many shines do I have, actually? Um. I have 
Come on, status screen. Wait, 33 shines? That doesn't seem right. Because you have to have a certain amount of shines for an event to occur in Delfino Plaza. That was the Turbo Nozzle event. Um, let me look up something real quick. Oh, okay, I got it now. To get, to get the Turbo Nozzle, you have to get 25 Shine Sprites and meet Yoshi. That's why I didn't see that event occur when I uh, <clears throat> already met that requirement. I was wondering why I haven't seen that one in a while. That's why I thought my calculations were off or something like that. But the secondary requirement is that you absolutely have to meet with Yoshi. So anyway, you'll see. Hey, what? Where'd he go? I just seen him a second ago. <laughs> oh, okay, he flipped over there. So, you know the drill, just spray Shadow Mario with the water, and yeah, not hard at all, and he just runs away from you in a circle, you'll eventually get him. And once you get him right here, you'll unlock the Turbo Nozzle for this area. So, come on. Oh, and you need the Turbo Nozzle to get the shines in Delfino Plaza, so don't think that you have to, or I should say, don't think that you can't. Or that you can avoid getting this, excuse me, for a 100% run. And you know how the turbo nozzle works. Let's just see if I can jump this gap here. Fail! Oh, poop. Anyway, let's go back to Peanut Park. I forgot to show you. Way over here by the start is where you can get your nozzles. Needless to say, we're going to be unlocking the rocket nozzle soon. But yeah, gray one, turbo nozzle. Blue one, hover nozzle. Red one, rocket nozzle. Now to Peanut Park. And the next one is shine number six, the Yoshi Go Round Secret. Uh, if you ever noticed, we passed by a, as you may have guessed, Yoshi Go Round. See that off with the mushroom cap off to the left side there? Well, there's a Yoshi missing from it for some odd reason. I have no idea. Who would steal a Yoshi from Mer a Merry Go Round? What are they going to do with it? I mean,. You can't ride it, it's not a real Yoshi. I guess you could pretend to ride it like it's some sort of pony ride, but yeah, there's the missing Yoshi on there. And if you go over there, she's gonna want an orange Yoshi. Yeah, it's, as I said, she is this little girl that wants it on the merry-go-round. Talk to her, see that missing spot there? People are like, oh, yeah, the orange Yoshi right disappeared. I don't know what it means, but uh, please help it. So, I don't know, she, she didn't actually say that, but she's implying that, you know her. So, you'll notice that there's a Yoshi egg over here in Peanut Park, right over here, and it wants a pineapple. I think there's a pineapple right over on this... Oh, that's a banana... Oh, I was, I was thinking it was this ledge, but that's a banana, but there's a pineapple right up here. So, grab that pineapple, whatever fruit that you need, just bring it over to Yoshi. But, the trick is that you need an orange Yoshi, so this will not give you an orange Yoshi. Come on, Mario, flip over there. There we go. And, wait, is that, that is an orange Yoshi. I guess it will give you an orange Yoshi. Never mind. <laughs> I thought I actually thought I had to eat that fruit up there to get a um, orange Yoshi. The one that looks like a snot bubble on that. Ow! If you ever get hit on Yoshi, you get knocked off him. I forgot to mention that, too. But I thought you had to eat that snot bubble on that Pianta-shaped tree there. But anyway, take your orange Yoshi over to the merry-go-round. And automatically you'll be transported into another world! And once again, Mario gets robbed. Come on, Mario! Get with the program here. You should know better. And this is probably the hardest one in the game to... Well, I should say the hardest special stage in the game like this. Well, no, I shouldn't say that. I should... Um, for, like, a regular shine is probably the hardest secret stage. But not a... If it's a secret, secret one, like a... Uh, you know what? I don't want to spoil anymore, so I'm just going to end it right there. I don't want to... <laughs> I think I've already said too much already there, so... Anyway, you have to jump across those Yoshi blocks like that without flood. The jumps are pretty wide and it's pretty hard to time. These blocks right at the beginning are not, so don't worry about them too much. Uh, I should actually be seeing if there's a one-up mushroom with these nails. It's a coin. That is useless to me. Give me a one-up. Yay! Okay, I should have got that the first time. As implied, you have to get across the Yoshi blocks, but you just can't ride them in a circle. Oh no, you're going to get pushed off the edge if you try 
like that by those uh, barriers over there. So you have to work your way over to the center. By, you gotta kinda, whoa, jump across them when they're in the center area here. Otherwise, they're a little bit too far apart as you've seen before when I died <laughs> to get across. So just be patient and jump straight across. There you go. Yeah, okay, maybe this isn't as hard as I remember it to be. Yeah, this maybe it's because I was rushing too much when I first played through this before. And my memory was faded, and it... Well, I shouldn't say it was faded. It was misconceived as being harder than it should be. <laughs> so, I guess there's only a coin there. Now this block's gonna move forward. It's gonna kind of slide into place there. All you have to do is just walk right on over to here. And if you have Flood, I'm pretty sure you can melt those ice blocks up there. I should say ice cubes. And... Gotta wait for that block to come close enough. I'm gonna zoom out here so I can get a better idea for the jump angle. There we go. I, should, I shouldn't say the jump angle, the jump timing. There! And all you have to do is just climb up to the top. This isn't hard to do whatsoever. Wall kick up here. Ooh, grabbed onto the ledge. Jump across! No! Oh, didn't mean to fall there. But if you ever fall over there, as you can see, there's quite a bit of... Like... How do I put it? It's quite a bit of saving land down there. It's like you're not going to fall off accidentally if you fall off here. I'm going to try and spin over there. There we go. And then I'm going to try and spin... Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to spin over to up there from the highest point of that block. But I didn't do a spin jump. I did a side flip. And that kind of screwed me there. But I didn't fall off, so I guess it's okay. And am I... Yeah, I'm okay. Wait, could I just spin over there? Like, from that block there? That certainly is tempting to try out. Let me try that for the heck of it. I know this isn't what the designers intended. And no, that's just gonna fail. Oh, come on! I jumped! Alright, we're back up here. So let's do this for realsies this time. And I'm gonna try and do that spin jump to get on top of that block once again. And there- well, no, 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 no! For the love of God! What the? I thought I died there! That's why I stopped talking. Somehow I hung on to this block. Huh, that never happened before, but I'm not complaining. Wow. Um... Do not question... Your movements, I guess, now. I should say, don't question your luck. So, let's just spin over to here, and there we go. Made that jump with the greatest of ease on the flying trapeze, and grab your shine and finally go! <sighs> well, that's all that I'm gonna do in this part. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part. Saving!